That's three weeks in a row now. Well, what are you gonna do? This is such fucking bullshit. I bet those uniforms over there, they don't get half rations. Keep your voice down. What's wrong with you? Whatever, I don't even care anymore. Let them take me. Just be quiet. Hold her down. Do it.
Let's head back into the city. Hey there all guys and girls, this is Black Gaming coming at you, currently under fire. <laughs> nah, literally, I mean, yeah, I'm getting shot at by these soldiers right now. Now, I just stumbled across a very, very useful little tactic in the game here. It's not a glitch or anything, it's just a, a very clever, sneaky little trick you can apply. Yet, you know, if done properly, it can really help you out. So I'm going to try and move here without getting shot, and then move again. And then here, this, this is where we can apply our sneaky little tactic. And it's just something I've just learned. Now, I've only got three shots here in my pistol. So we're going to make these work, hopefully. So, at the moment, this soldier can't see us. He's not looking at us. He doesn't know where we are. As far as they're concerned, we're over, we're over there somewhere. Yeah. But they know we're still here. So, we go ahead and shoot him in the head once. The helmet protects him. There we go. So now we've got his attention. Firing at us like mad. Flashlight on us. You know, you're thinking, I'm not putting my head up there again. Yet. Literally, if he keeps doing that, if you can just about see the circle on the screen, it actually does work, but I have done it myself. Yes, admittedly, it's risky, but not as risky as just standing there while trying to aim your pistol and get it over. But at the moment, you can see that's right on target with him. So, I'm going to go ahead and bet that if I stand up, pull the trigger, bang, he goes down. Let's do it and find out. There you go, you see? It's a really useful little tactic you can apply in the game just by constantly ducking up and down like that until the circle comes on. And then you leave the circle on the enemy, on the enemy's head. And then the circle will stay there because your character's view, you know, that their sight of view hasn't changed direction. Unless, of course, you rotate the screen, you know, and then, yes, of course, it will, you see. But as long as you just keep doing that, the circle will stay exactly where it is. Unless, of course, you change the rotation. So that's, that's a really useful little tactic. I, I very much enjoy it and I can see myself using it more if I can remember and by doing so, yeah, we've only got one bullet left, but, you know, there are no bullets, but not enough to finish off the other soldier. It's a bit of a shame that we don't get to commandeer their weapons, as they would be very useful in short. However, this is just one little tactic I've stumbled across, perhaps I'll stumble across more. I do hope that you are enjoying the videos I've put up. This is Red Gaming out, until next time. Ha! Hey there again, this is Rad Gaming coming at you. Now, I have just discovered a very, very good little tactic Fuck you can you. use Let the clickers get when, when pretty much maybe against any enemy. Soldiers, uh, maybe, you know, your, well, mainly it's soldiers in the you know, at the moment. But then again, it's mainly infected, clickers, and whatever else. But um, imagine, you know, well, not so much imagine actually, but. You got trying. You got someone trying to shoot you. You know, automatic or single shot weapon, and you know they are just constantly looking at you. You know, you're you're dead. It's not going to work. Now this would have worked, but they've actually run off, which actually is really annoying because they weren't. They, they didn't run off a minute ago. Seriously. Two soldiers were here, one was there, and the other one was, you know, literally just, just here. And I, um, just re restarted to the last encounter just so I could capture this moment and put it up to YouTube. But, unfortunately, it's just sort of been spoiled now. And, you know, I kind of want to 
play the game and get on with it kind of thing. Or not that there's any rush. You don't actually have to do that. But okay, so I have literally just got to the point where we have just uh, met Ellie and Ellie, as far as Joe and his partner's name, I just keeps escaping me names and various things escape me as far as they are concerned Ellie here is nothing more than cargo but at the moment that's just what it is but obviously to those of you that already know the last of us story the game the, the story well it's not so much a game it's a very very heartfelt story you know the, the story becomes it becomes a lot more than just cargo Ellie oh. in the end I heard all the shooting but so let's just, we're going to scavenge around for everything that Fire we can. Flies. I'm Same literally... Gonna happen to us if we don't get off the street. You're the pro. I'm, just I'm literally you. looking in every corner. And when I feel like I'm in a dark corner, shine a flashlight. Now I've been trying to remember, and I feel like I've done a little bit better than what I did last time I played The Last of Us. I'm focused with a clearer mind, and I'm trying to remember doing things better but in my mind it's a case of sometimes I don't actually understand like, like what what have I got to do here you know like how do I do this bit or how do I do that bit so I get it confused and then it goes wrong as far as I'm concerned in my mind I've done that right but it was not exactly correct the way I did it so I feel like I could have um, had a few less failed attempts However, I think it's probably less than what it was last time. Now, I think I am pretty much all scavenged out here. Okay, you know what would be really cool if we could use the bike, but never mind. But then again, what is it with the bike's wheels? I mean, they look white, like, you know? They seem to really stand out for some reason. We'll just have a look over here quickly. And let's go. Now I'm hoping I don't screw this up. But then again, you know what? Let's just expect that I might screw it up. Because that might happen. I seem to have a problem of running into the bullets of what pe You know, the, the bullets that are being shot at me by people that are shooting me. I keep running into their bullets. It's just it's doesn't it's not healthy, you know? Don't run into bullets. It's not not a good idea, trust me. I've tried it and you're pretty much e even if you don't die or you're not crawling on the floor leaving a trail and a puddle of blood behind you, you're you're pretty much the one to come worse off every time. You know. I mean, you're, less, you're in a worse state than Down what here. you are. You're in a worse state than what you were before you got hit. So, you know. Now, I do have a bottle. That's good. Wait, do I need healing by any chance? Wait, no, hang on. Oh, I do need healing. Okay. Why not? Okay, we'll just, just do that quick. Uh, I don't have very much right now. Very early in the game right now, so I don't up. really have any supplies. Attention. Harboring or aiding wanted criminals is punishable by death. Do not place yourself at risk. Report any suspicious activity immediately. No, I said to stay low and you're not staying low. You know what gets me with Ellie in this game? It's just a case of like it just sometimes seems that she can stand right in the way of the enemy. And they just don't notice. But if it's me, then of course they notice. Because, like, you know, I'm the character, Ellie, uh, Ellie's al Ellie is also a character, but, you know, the enemies don't recognise Ellie so much as they would do with me. And they don't shoot Ellie. Obviously, you know, for a number of reasons. First thing, Where are we going? first Up reason there. perhaps being, That'll get us to the North Tunnel. you know. How are we supposed to reach that? Just give me a minute. I suppose it's a bit of a wrong thing to, um, actually you know, have the video game shooting at a kid and killing the kid it just, it just it just feels wrong I suppose that's one reason why you don't you know really see or use that or have that 
Now if I'm right, we've got to put this against the fence, if I remember. Um, maybe not. Where have, where have I got to put this against? Oh no, it's over here. Yeah, it's over here. There we go. Now, I'm just still scavenging for supplies here. Now, at the moment, I am doing this on the PlayStation recording. So, to those of you that perhaps aren't aware, you only get half hour worth of recording time with the PlayStation 4. So, hopefully, I'm not going to run over that half hour limit. And if I do, I do apologise and I'll have to cut the video and then create a second one just leading on from where I left off. And Ellie, are you jumping up or what? How, how does this work? Are you coming? There we go. I don't know if I had to help her up or whatever, I don't know. Yep. Sometimes. You ever smuggle a kid before? No, that's a first. What's the deal with you and Marlene, anyways? I don't know. She's my friend, I guess. Your friend, huh? You're friends with the leader of the Fireflies. What are you, like, 12? She knew my mom. And she's been looking after me. And I'm 14. Not that that has anything to do with anything. So where are your parents? <sighs> where are anyone's parents? They've been gone a long, long time. So instead of just staying in school, you decide to run up and join the Fireflies, is that it? Look, I'm not supposed to tell you why you're smuggling me, if that's what you're getting at. You wanna know the best thing about my job? I don't gotta know why. To be honest with you, I give two shits what you're up to. Well, great. Good. Creepy stairway here. Okay, so switch to the bottle. Just in case. Just like, imagine if he was walking along like this, it looks like Joe's drunk. Ah. Okay, this, ah, uh, here's where we gotta go. Ellie, you're sort of in the way, dude. Is it? What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. <laughs> oh god, the, s the sarcasm is just... Uh, that's good, I like that. Your watch is broken. <laughs> now, you notice the watch, and it looks like it's just had a, a crack, or maybe, maybe even a bullet, go through the screen of the, fa of the face of the watch there. So you mumble perhaps, in your sleep. Perhaps that is when... You know, early dreams. in the story there, and Joe was shot at yeah, by the soldier, and his daughter was killed. Perhaps that is what happened. You know, somehow the shot was deflected, and he never got. He never. You know. Never had never rid been of the this watch. Close to the outside. Look how dark it is. Can't be any worse out there. Can it? What on earth do the fireflies want with you? Hey. Sorry it took so long. Soldiers fucking everywhere. How's Merlene? She'll make it. Gotta sell the merchandise. It's a lot. Can do this? Yeah. Let's go. So yeah, I'm just literally thinking. You know, perhaps the watch has a bullet hole or look-alike bullet hole in it because of when the soldier shot at Joe and his daughter. He fired an awful lot of shots. His daughter was hit, sadly enough killed, and it would make sense if the watch got hit or a glancing bullet or whatever. But that 
just by what we briefly saw there in that, that scene it looks as if the bullet perhaps hit the watch direct straight on but whatever material whatever that watch is made out of it perhaps it must be pretty damn strong to hold off that bullet now that is that's pretty cool and just think about how awesome that is and what a lovely just what a really cool piece of a story that is if that is true anyway thanks for joining me very much very much grateful and see you all next time rad gaming out